what is up guys we're back with another video sorry about the lighting it's kind of really bright outside today um we are going to do a kayaking video pretty soon but um today i'm going to re be reviewing this lucky tackle box i'm not sponsored but um yeah i'm just going to be reviewing it today and showing you all the baits i have gotten so first things first i gotta open the box And then I just folded. So there's that. And then we have to take the sticker off. Open it up. Um, here's this, uh, bait card. I'm not going to read it so I can, um, show you guys everything. But, um, I've also, these, these ones, these help. These really do help, um, show you how to rig up stuff and, um, how to use the baits. It, they, they do help. Um, next thing, got some must add wide gap hooks for worms and stuff. Um, this is some um, 15 pound test monofilament, 75 yards, pretty pretty good. Um, here is a, oh is this a line cutter? I think this is a line cutter. Yeah, this is a line cutter, it's just like basically toenail clippers, but it can extend and stuff, you can put it on your waist or whatever. It's probably what I'll do, I might hook it to a strap. Ooh, got a really nice buzz bait here. I'll open it up for you guys. Um, it's called Clear Cut. By the way, I think I'm pretty sure the theme for the month of May is shallow water baits because I looked on their Instagram. It's nice and squeaky and pretty good pretty good bait altogether might not be able to use this in the kayaking videos because I'm not able to like lift the rod tip up that much it might help with the bait caster because it's a little bit taller but um yeah it also has like a it, it's the line is not stiff at all it bends really easily so you won't miss any fish on this one if you do get any because it bends down and they get the hook easier but uh yeah there's that bait um, I've also got, here, let's do the ones we don't have to really open. Um, I do not know what this is, actually. Oh, um, you can insert these into a soft plastic lure, and it makes them, like, rattly. So, like, little plastic things. So, that's cool. Um, next up, we have these... Bait Rigs Tackle Company. They sent some uh, swim baits, whatever you call them. Not swim baits, paddle tails, whatever, whatever you want to call them. There's plenty of different names. Um, this is a very nice kind of crawdad color um, crankbait. It's a very shallow crankbait. It's got like an orange on the bottom and like a red kind of thing on the top nice square bill so there's that and next up there's uh six cents fishing products uh ned fries so um just little senkos pretty much and um i don't know what kind they are hold on It doesn't say what kind they are, but they they will stand out um, because of the blue flaking and stuff in it. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll take one out of the package real quick. Sorry guys, it's flat on the bottom, 
doesn't it doesn't smell as bad as the other ones I got in the the last Lucky Tackle Box. Um, I didn't show that one because I don't think I had a YouTube channel at that point. Yes, I did. I don't even I don't think I did. But um, yeah, it the bl the blue flakes kind of those really stand out. I, don't, I still don't know if you can see them. I'll get them as close as I can. Yeah, you can see them just barely, but. Yeah, the blue flakes are going to help them stand out in the water. Um, I was trying to see if the water's muddy right now. Um, but, yeah, before before I get on to the last bait, um, the next video is either going to be um, dropping tonight or tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I might drop it tonight so that I can get a kayaking video in tomorrow for you guys. I might go ahead and drop this next the paddle video that I'm dropping either tonight or tomorrow. I'm probably going to drop it tonight and drop it on my new channel called uh, Bass Boss Builds. Um, so I'm going to be building stuff on that channel, basically. So the last the last bait I got, it is a, hold on, it's a jig. It is a, not a football head. It's a weird kind of shape. It kind of looks like a football head, but like twisted forwards. So basically, but um, yeah, nice, nice hook. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it. Try to block out some sun. But um, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a darker yellow color, not as much chartreuse. But there's some red flakes in the black, so um, that'll probably stand out too. Um, I might have to buy some other little critters because I don't think the Christy crawler will match this. So I might have to buy some like other critters like bandito bugs or something. Um, also not sponsored by Guggen, but um, yeah. So like, that's the last bait. So we'll do a quick recap of everything. Um, the first bait, I don't think this might have been the first bait. The buzz bait, I don't think it was. Nice stout hook stuff like that. Black skirt, nice squeaky. Um, some line, 15 pound test, mono. Try not to hook myself here. This little shallow square bow crankbait. The jig I just showed you guys. The um, noisemakers for the worms, soft plastics. The um, the paddle tails or whatever. The six cents uh, Ned Fry or whatever you want to call it. And the Mustat hooks. And lastly, the line clippers that you can put on your shorts or sweatpants or anything. and. It extends to about that far, maybe about two feet, maybe three. But um, let me see if there's anything else. That looks like it's it. Um, I'm going to go through this book real quick, kind of show you guys what's in this book. So this is the cover. It's called May Giants. So um, they have tips for catching post spawn bass on a buzz bait, five shallow water lures, and bank fishing tips. So uh, I'm gonna start going through this real quick. Um, page three is for seven tips for catching a bass uh, post spawn on a buzz bait. Um, it says dissect shallow cover. A buzz bait comes through cover surprisingly well. It's great for picking apart sparse grass, um, reeds, flooded brush, docks. Um, if you're fishing around grass or brush, use braided. Uh, but if in open water, heavy mono is fine. Um, you can also skip it. Uh, standard buzz bait comes with like a silicone skirt, but many pros replace it with a soft plastic like toad. Um, but the toad's body like mimics a forage fish and kind of makes it easier to skip. Uh, a forage fish um, makes it easier to skip a buzz bait under docks and limbs. Um, you can use a trailer. I'll probably put one of these um, one of these things on it. 
um, um, it said you can use a single tail grub, twin tail, spinner bait, trailer, um, a small crawl or bait or swim bait. Um, most trailers can be added with or without the skirt. Trailer increases the bait's profile, slows its sink rate, um, which helps it to keep it on the surface. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, keep the color simple. Make sure you are keeping the color simple. Um, it says, while you can be successful with bright colors, um, to come highly recommended, black for overcast skies and stained water, white for sunny skies and clear water, and uh, blade color. Actually, I did not know this. The blade color also matters. Um, you want gold in stained water, um, white in clear water, and black with low light conditions. They're all good choices. Um, the noise, it also says, number five, the noise matters. In most cases, the louder the buzz bait squeaks, the better. Try roughing up the wire where the blade rides to make it louder or hold it out truck window on the way to the lake so the blade spins <clears throat> and breaks in. You might also try a buzz bait with a clacker. Um, it also says to cover water, a buzz bait is great search bait, bomb cast to the bank or around cover and keep moving to locate groups of fish. Most pros start with the slowest retrieve that'll keep the blade churning, but sometimes burning works better. Also try to bang the bait off a dog post or a piece of wood to trigger strikes. Um, it also says throw it. Um, buzz baits work best in the low light conditions of early morning and evening or, or on overcast days. But uh, don't be afraid to throw one under shady docks or limbs when the sun is hot. <clears throat> Big, shallow water bass sometimes can't resist an obnoxious bladed bait churning overhead, even in the middle of the day. So that was the seven tips. Um, what's this? The next one is five shallow water lures. So shallow water lures, uh, buzz bait like we just went over. Um, definitely the jig. Um, yeah, the jig is a big, the big one because that's every every fisherman knows that. Um, the swim jig, this bait, uh, yeah, that works too. Weightless worm, um, Texas wed racky rig, or you can throw a Texas rig with a weight on it. That's basically all five. And then the next, the next one was. What works now? Shallow jigs. Um, uh, let's go over how to fish a jig. How you fish a jig depends on what it's in front of you. If you are a bass chasing a spawning shad around seawalls, docks, or bank grass, try swimming a white jig. Same techniques work for spawning bluegills too, but swap to the green pumpkin jig. If you're fishing a brush or grass, get close and pitch and flip into the heart of the cover with heavy fluorification or fluorocarbon line and a bulky trailer. You also can't go wrong junk fishing or running and gunning a jig. Pitch it around docks and work it with a lift fall presentation. Drag it on points outside of spawning pockets. Skip it under overhanging trees. Finesse it through brush, basically. Um, we're not going to go over everything, but if you guys get um, if you guys get this, you can definitely go over it. Um, new series, Tips from the Bank on page 9. Um, let's see here. Um, it says tips from the bank, uh, pack light, successful bank fishing means you'll be on the move, you'll be walking through grass, navigating wooded areas, climbing rocks, who knows what else, take only the what you need. Um, so basically essentials, <clears throat> and baits, use soft plastics, spread them weedless, uh, this will eliminate wasted time pulling grass off your hook or getting out of a snack. Also, it's easy to put, uh, pack extra baits and just put them in your pocket. Um, fish close. Don't try to fish in the middle of the lake when you're already near the shallows. Try kissing parallel to the bank or a fishing cover that is near you, looking for fish that are shallow. Um, so basically that's it. Um, there are some pictures that I'll let you see real quick. Um, I don't know if you can see them all, but there's the pictures that were on. And there's just a word search on the back. So, um... Yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, sorry about the lighting. It's kind of a little junky, but, um, oops. But, uh, yeah, uh, the next video, 
on this channel will probably be the kayaking video that we're gonna do either tonight or um, well we're gonna film it either tonight or tomorrow we'll probably end up filming it tomorrow so we'll not drop today but the paddle video will most likely drop tonight um, I'll give you a little sneak peek I did not do the best on this so you can't make fun of me but um, because I, this is not it um, so I outlined it that's basically it this part uh, if I can this part right here I'm not putting in so basically same thing on the other side and I kind of I'm just gonna do right here and I'm gonna come down same on the other side and then the bottom basically like that but that I just showed you um, a little too much yeah so um pretty sure Luke already finished his by the time I'm filming this video but um yeah I'm gonna get to work on mine soon here and um, I'm gonna see if I can post it tonight and again sorry about the lighting my face is a little um but uh yeah I will see you in the paddle video peace